Kilo Echo 4, Golf, Juliet Golf here in London, Kentucky. Went to the Ham Fest and got me an ICOM 7100. But, guess what? Got home and I said, oh no, I got hoodooed. It only does like 50 watts, 40 watts while I'm talking. But, uh, got on Google, Googled it on the internet, and uh, it's a known problem with the ICOM 7100. Low power output. I said, Wow, I didn't get it hoodoo. But I got a really good deal on it, so maybe the other guy thought something was wrong with it. So I went on uh, YouTube, and guess what? TRX Bench here has a uh, modification you can do with just a simple capacitor and a short to ground on the other side of the uh, another component. It's pretty simple, looks like. Until I watched the video, and he's got a microscope and everything, so yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> But uh, I've done some small uh, component soldering before and everything, so let's dig into it and see how hard this thing is going to be to modify. Okay, so here's the, the icon I'm working on. It's an icon 7100 D Star HF VHF UHF mobile all mode, and they have low output power. As you can see, this is the trying to zoom in on this meter I can't really do it too good with this camera but anyway this is a on sideband of course normal talking right here hello one two three three two one hello one two three three two one if I hold a long carrier you know or just a long three two one so normal talking it's under 50 watts actually and that's where it's supposed to be when you're talking, when I whistled right then. And on the uh, amp meter, it's a probably, when I whistle, it's pulling about 15 amps, is all it's pulling on the amp meter even. So, yeah, this thing is uh, not putting out what it's supposed to be putting out. But anyway, I'm going to try the, uh, the modification that TRX Bench done and uh, see if that will help the uh, transmit uh, power on this thing. Wish me luck. Well, I got the uh, ICOM apart, and the place we're looking for is going to be right in this area right here, which is really, 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 really tiny. Um, this camera is no way, shape, or form capable of even thinking about zooming. But anyway, there's a point right here on this pad to this point point here we got to put a, a jumper basically a shunt and then there's another point I can either go here somewhere or down here and I can put a capacitor and I'm gonna try to attempt that I got the schematic here pulled up where you got to put the modification it's a 10 UF uh, capacitor 16 volts which I do have and I've got it ready to rock and roll this is it right here but you can see the dilemma I mean there's the there's the board where everything goes and that's the part look how much bigger my part is than where I got a sort of tube and that's the same thing uh, I'm gonna have the link in there for the TRX he's got a lot better uh, camera view and he's probably using a microscope camera or something to zoom in on his board to let you see what's going on but anyway let's uh Let's try this modification and see if it helps any at all on, the, on my radio. I've done the firmware updates and all that, and it still didn't help, so maybe this will work for me. Well, the modification is done. I don't know if you can see it with this camera, because this camera is not meant to do close-up shots. But anyway, I put my capacitor there, and I got a little, little dab of hot glue underneath it, and my shunt is over there also. Don't know if you can see it neither, but it is to the ground there. Very, very hard to see on this screen. But anyway, let's take a look at the meter and see what it does after the modification. Well, guys, if you've got an IC7100 and it has low power output, I do recommend doing this modification because this is what you get afterwards. Audio, one, two, three audio one two amazing difference man and way over 100 watts what it's supposed to be done 
and if you got an amplifier, it will drive the far out of it now. But anyway, 73s from Kilo Echo 4 Golf, Judy Golf, down here in London, Kentucky. Really good modification, very hard modification, but if you've got the skills to do it and you got the, you're not faint at heart on tearing apart your radio, I do recommend to do it because it really, <laughs> very, very significant improvement. Up to 125, 130 watts is what it does. Um, even on TRX bench when he done his and it done close to 140 watts at one time on peak. So it's a very, very recommended uh, uh, modification. 73s, KE4GJG, Southeastern KY.